coming to you from Sony. We're introducing the new Sony Raider Wi-Fi. Uh, the new Sony Reaper Wi-Fi is a little bit more, is a little bit different from our previous units. Because it has a built-in Wi-Fi, we have things such as web browsing, built-in public library, as well as built-in access to our reader store as well. We're gonna go into the settings where you set up the Wi-Fi. So once you're in the menu, you go to the second page, and under system, you'll see the word settings. Once you've highlighted the word settings, your second option is wireless network settings. Once you've selected this, it'll give you a few more options. The first option is Wi-Fi. You need to check mark this in order for a Wi-Fi connection to be available. What that means is, when you go into your Wi-Fi settings, it'll allow you to see the wireless networks that are available, or allow you to set up a manual. So you can do either an automatic, where it finds the Wi-Fi networks for you and you choose one that you prefer, or do a manual setup of one that you may have hidden in your house or hidden in the place of work. Or if you choose to refresh, you may scan for new networks. Going back, another setting you have is a wireless standby. This allows you to save battery life by having, once your e-reader has been idle for five minutes, the Wi-Fi will turn itself off, thus conserving battery. So as you can see, my Wi-Fi has been connected to a network already just to help go along further with this video. So going back to the home, which is the middle button on the bottom, we'll kind of take a little peruse through the books and what you can all do on the Sony e-reader as far as functions and features. So opening up the book I was last reading, we'll go through some of the things such as font size, as well as orientation, the views, as well as how to look up words and create notes. So first and foremost, we'll do font size. Each book has its own set font, as well as font size. Some may be perfect the way they are, others you may want to increase or decrease. How you do that is you go into the menu setting in the bottom right hand corner, and you go to font. This allows you to do quite a few things. One of which allows you to choose different font sizes along the bottom. Once you've chosen the one you prefer, it'll automatically render itself on the page so you can see what it looks like as well as you can select the font type. If you don't like the font that's currently on the page, you can select from various different options for different font sizes that you like. I'm gonna stick with this original font text. So now that I've chosen that, I can go right back to my book. Another feature we have that I commented on was our highlighting feature. That allows you to do a few things. By holding your finger and dragging along how far you wanna highlight. Or if you just wanna highlight a certain word, you may do so just by selecting one word. What that allows you to do is you can either keep it highlighted by pressing the highlight button, add a note, which allows you to do things such as creating a note via keyboard or through drawings. So you can go back to your annotations later on for what you wanted to write down for that current word or paragraph you've highlighted. Also when you highlight the word, you can notice there's things such as search, Wikipedia, and Google. What those options allow you to do is to either search through the entire book by hitting search. It'll find that word various times throughout the text. With Wikipedia and Google, it's tapping into your Wi-Fi network you set up. It will bring you right to Google or Wikipedia to further research the certain word, name, or city that you've highlighted. As well as we have our built-in dictionary. Your built-in dictionary gives you a small definition on the bottom, however, if you want to increase that and read a further definition or have more information on that word, you simply touch the dictionary. It'll give you a full definition as well as uses of the word and using it in a sentence. If you'd like to change the dictionary, you may do so by hitting the options button while you're in the dictionary setting. To change dictionary, you have a few different options, including different translations. You have from English to various translations and vice versa. This is really helpful for those of whom are reading texts from different languages or are trying to learn a different language. Now then, going back into our book. I'll show you a few more options you have with text and font. By hitting the options button on the bottom corner, you'll see a few things such as customized view. What that allows you to do is adjust the view, adjust the page mode, or crop the page. Adjust view is a really important one because it allows you to change the saturation or brightness of the text. 
So if you find it's too dark or too light, you can adjust that by going brighter, darker, more saturated, or by doing a custom one to make it to your own liking. Also, when you hit more under the options page, you have things such as orientation. This allows you to go from landscape to portrait and back and forth. That's giving you a larger space to read. And to change it back, you simply hit the settings button on the bottom right hand corner, hit more, and you hit orientation to go back. To navigate through the book, you simply go left and right by touching the page on the actual touch screen. Or if you prefer not to touch the touch screen, you also have buttons on the bottom to navigate through as well. So you have the option of using either or. To go back to your home menu, just hit the home button in the middle. To access all your books, you can have recently added books that are put along this column. The top column holds the most recent book that keeps your last page read as well as the font and font size you've chosen for each individual book. To access all your books, you simply touch books. Once there, you see all the books you currently have on your unit. Every time you download a new book, it will be under your recently added folder, which again was on the home screen. Once here, you can sort by date, you can sort by author, you can have thumbnails, you can search, and you can do it alphabetically, either chronologically going up or down. As for collections, this will help you to find books you haven't read, and purchase books. Purchase books are ones that you've been purchased off the e-reader store, which we'll cover in another video. That's everything as far as features go, and that's how you set up your Wi-Fi on the new Wi-Fi Sony Reader. Thank you, and have a great day.